With no way back, we must venture forward. Hello, everybody. Hyper Mario Sunshine here, and we're back with some more Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we begun our journey, seeing that we're both in the past and present. And it seems that Princess Peach is lost somewhere in the past, and the Marios of the present have to go back in time in order to rescue her. Well, we accidentally ended up here in the past rather than uh, just coming here willingly. But anyways, let us commence forth and go right ahead. Mario! If it's not inconvenient, I'd like to proceed with some basic instructionals. As you know, the primary action for mobile creatures is the jump, if you follow. If your timing is serviceable, the pair of you should be able to jump up these ledges. First, Mario jumps with A. Then Luigi follows suit by pressing B. Rudimental! The key to using... The key is using the D-pad to move, then pressing A and B in order. I suggest trying it. Or you could just press both at the same time. I have defied your logic! We got a multi-coin block. We got some coins out of that. Got two mushrooms. And a one-up mushroom. Mario, Luigi, do you see the gaps in your path? Okay, good. I just want to make sure that there was nothing down there if we failed to not make it. Gaps and the like can sometimes be cleared by moving with the D-pad. Yes, you build up speed and then leap as pressing as one by pressing A and B at the same time. I suggest a trial attempt for this particular technique. Make with the jumping. So yes, if you press A and B at the same time, you can make over gaps. Or you can press A and B in like quick succession and do that. And this is uh, a returning feature as well. Uh, this area is, is festooned with red and green blocks, according to my database. Yes, red objects respond only with m when struck by Mario, and green ones are for Luigi. It's just you begin leaping it with all speed and hit every last one of them. And... Excuse me. Got a staircase opened up now. It appears a path allowing us to proceed has opened up. I suggest utilizing A and B to perform well-timed jumps and move forward. Alright, and I love the little remixed uh, version of the Mario theme as well. Anyways, green paths ahead! Uh, not so secret invasion here. The village, pink, purple, mushrooms. Poor Toad abducted. Really showing uh, the dangers that we're going to be facing. Anyways, here we go. Let's head to uh, the village that's up ahead. Mario! Wait, oh my god, I don't know why I use Toad's voice for stuff, Will. I understand your urgency, but who knows the dangers ahead? It would be prudent to get you battle ready before moving. Well, look at this. The perfect practice for you. Mario, jump on that bulboid thing. And, yeah, we got our first attack. Or first strike, rather. Excellent work, Mario. Jump onto an enemy to engage in it, it, engage it in battle, and you'll get the upper hand by damaging it at the get-go. I highly recommend noting this helpable hint. And we got a Shrewblet here. They're basically Shrew Goombas. Luigi. You'll perform attacks just like Mario does. The only difference is Luigi uses B for his action commands. Remember to use B when jumping on the bad guys who hate you. Analysis complete on the enemy attacks. Shall I tell you the results? 
Uh, no. Alrighty then, I've got one more analysis I'd like to share with you. When avoiding enemy attacks, the timing of Mario and Luigi's jumps tend to be slightly differential. Pay close attention to the timing of the jumps. Back to adventure! So yeah, what he's talking about is that some enemies may have little signs that will point to who are they are going to be attacking. As you can see, the Shrew Blood's pointing with its uh, left foot out, well, towards Luigi, so it's going to attack Luigi. And Luigi didn't get a, a little up there. So yeah, we got a bunch of Shrew Blitz here. This is a great place to level up before we uh, go on ahead. Yeah, Mario's damage is definitely pretty good. So yeah, Ma Luigi's a little bit more of the defense of the two. Mario's the speedy powerhouse. That's how I put it. That's usually how it goes. And we got a level up for Luigi. Let's go with defense to increase his defensive capabilities. And again, another one. I don't know if it's a... It definitely does seem a little bit harder, because I was actually playing the sequel to this game, and uh, I think I've been getting quite a lot of, like, high bonuses for uh, level ups. I feel like it's the game rather than me. Because, like, it seems more timeable, at least to me. Yeah, these battles are not too long. I don't think we'll really be cutting out anything. I will be cutting out future, like, battles and whatnot uh, as we progress. Uh, and, like, there's not necessarily, like, fights that we need to go and do. Another four experience. Yeah, there is a lot of true boys here, and uh, yeah, I would highly recommend facing as many as you can. Uh, weird text. Are you operational, Luigi? Do you need service? It appears you've taken some damage. What fortunate timing. Allow me to explain how to use items. I just love how Luigi, like, his little days sound that he made. Ah, I know you're groggy, but try to focus, Luigi. Please press start. What we have here is the ideal moment to discuss using items. Hmm, wait a moment. I just happen to have two mushrooms that the professor gave me. Let's use these in, in the explanation. Move the magnifying dingus here and press A. What you see here are the items currently in your possession, if you follow. What I need you to do is select the mushrooms, then press A. Also, I love how the Marios are like keychains. Yes, now you can use the D-pad to choose who gets the mushroom. It won't be... It, and won't that be fun for all? Make sure you selected our friend Luigi there and pr then press A. Apparently that Shrewblet did, like, 16 damage on Luigi. Yes, Wonderiferous. That should be... That should put the pepper on his pizza. Alright then, let's return to the bottom screen. If it's not too much trouble, press B for me. Second verse, same verse as the first verse. But which I mean... By which I mean press B again. And here we are, back where we started. But Smartify, we're ready to move on. Yep, yes, it's easy to back out of my inner levels one step at a time with the B button. But you can also choose, you could also press start to close me entirely at any time. If you follow, press B or start to close me. So yeah, just some basic tutorial stuff. Back to adventure! A nice refresher. And let's go ahead. Apparently Shrewbloods could almost one-shot Luigi. I guess I also didn't want to waste like a full mushroom if Luigi only took one damage. We should be also getting close to our next level up for Mario. Yeah, these are pretty quick battles. And, uh, yeah, not really much else to say. You know, we're in the tutorial every RPG generally has. A uh, little bit of a slow start, but once you get to a certain area, you will 
begin picking up the pace. Yeah, we're pretty close now to Holly Jolly Village. Now, uh, we missed our uh, first attack there. I think we should be able to get the kill by... Never mind. Anyways, uh, if you guys are wondering why it took me so long to, like, record when I came back, uh, one of the reasons was I had some difficulty recordings, like, my capture card would, like, randomly screw up. I've never seen it before, but, yeah, apparently that happens. Oh, wow, we got a three on speed. Nice. Definitely want Mario being the go-ahead attacker. And the way you should be getting is level up in next two. Whoa, the lucky there. Yeah, lucky attacks also return. Uh, these will definitely do a lot of damage if done correctly. Well, not done correctly. Oh my god. It's not a timing thing. It's a luck-based thing. If you increase your stash, you increase your lucky hit. So, yeah, if you want to go for that strat, it also is uh, pretty strong, I guess. Uh, although it definitely requires synergy with power. And Luigi also got a little up. Oh, uh, let's give it this time to power. Uh, of course, I got one after our 1 3. Anyways, let's go to Holly Jolly Village and see if we could save anybody there. It seems we're too late. If you guys can't tell, uh, Holly Jolly Village doesn't really seem so holly and jolly after all. I mean, it still seems very holly. It has the, uh, cr it's a Christmas-themed village, which is, uh, pretty cute, but... Yeah, it seems that we're too late to save anybody. Let's go see around, if, see if we can find any potential survivors. Yeah, this is, uh, this is... The thing that really kicks off that, uh, yeah, this is a much, a pretty depressing scene. An entire town, peaceful town just ruined with one invasion. You got a lot of money here as well. Yeah, you got all these Christmas trees and presents under the tree. Even though we're still in the summer. <laughs> uh, anything over here? Yes, we do. Something over here, I believe. Yeah. Fortunately, the entire village was attacked. There's not one space left untouched. Anyways, let's go in here. We've got a save block over here. Too late. All the Holly Jolly's residents have been taken away. Has no one escaped their evil clutches? Look around. Now what does they say? Hope will never die. Got a sign here. Holly Jolly's Mayor's Home. Move. Move. We might have hope. Is anybody there? Hello. What happened to those awful shroop things? Are they gone? Me? I'm the mayor of this village. Nice to s not see you. I was trying to hide from those droop things and got stuck. There must be a way out. That doesn't involve dieting. Oh, well, only one place but up. Oh-ho! Safe at last. Mayor resembles like Santa Claus, so we gotta save him. I 
And we were too late to save the last survivor here. We got ourselves a boss fight here, and uh, apparently they have their own DS radar. The shrooms end. We have a countdown of three. And three of these guys. Let's go and take them out. Oh. Yeah, already counting down. This is uh, not a good sign. So the shrooms here, they're the invasive alien creatures that have come down to invade the Mushroom Kingdom. And as you can see by their uh, appearance, yeah, they are definitely creepy and pretty evil. As they've basically destroyed this whole town. Alright. Uh. Oh no. Meanwhile, high above Holly Jolly Village, the Cooper Cruiser cruises. Emergency! Emergency! Princess! Oh, oh, princess, never fear, my dear. Toadsworth is here. Come, let's get you to safety. This is the great Prince Bowser. Kneel, minions. Okay, now get up. All personnel to the bridge. All right, we are now in control of the babies. And, uh, yeah. Once again. Hey, you there. His grouchiness awaits you. Get your tails to the bridge. I wonder if your little, you little spuds can make it on your own. Show me a practice jump, okay, little red tot? Yep, that'll work. How about you, little green tater? Nice, you're good to go. You can perform all your actions with X and Y. Got it. To clear the the staggered levels, you're two, you or you two are gonna need to work on your jumping. Use the D-pad to move, and then yep, very much similar to Mario and Luigi. So yeah, we got to control the babies, and we're on the Koopa Cruiser. This is the last time we actually see the Koopa Cruiser in a non-remake game, and it's a, a bit sad. I kind of like it. Yes, we know. Make across the gap. It's basically just a mini tutorial with the babies. This doesn't go over like each little thing. Anyways, let's make our way to the deck. Yeah, it seems that uh the invasion has uh had them take refuge with Bowser Prince Bowser. Who knows what's been go what's going to happen from here on in. And, I mean, you're babies! You better save your progress whenever you see a save album. And I think we're going to do just that. We're going to find out what's going to happen in the next episode. As uh, the present-day Mario Brothers have been defeated by the Shroobs down at Holly Jolly Village, and it seems that the babies who are just above them are making their way to the deck in the Koopa Cruiser. So, love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, this is a rare one you'll see. Are the real stars of the show Baby Mario and Baby Luigi? Are Mario and Luigi down for the count? Head for the bridge. So, yes. Love my videos, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe to my channel, we appreciate it. Next time on Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, we'll be heading to the deck and seeing what Prince Bowser needs for us. Well, from us, rather. See you guys then.